A couple more pictures for you just real quick. Um, order filling, let's jump over into order filling. Once the products come in, been received, PO, uh, you know, it's, it's taken care of, it's closed out with the, with the receipt, with the put away, any replenishment that takes place on the day shift. Typically now we jump into our night shift. Our night shift does all of our order filling. Orders, as I mentioned earlier, come in. Um, and again, it's, it varies somewhat by distribution center, but within the distribution center, some orders uh, where they will start picking at six o'clock, others will start picking at nine o'clock, and it may vary anywhere in between there. Orders come into the distribution center, they're all merged uh, into typically one or two or three orders, even though a customer may have four, five, six, or eight POs. We do some consolidation there based on what the customer has asked us to do or asked us not to do. But again, we then start our order filling. Order filling uh, will basically run throughout the night. There's different types of order filling. There's the shelf. And again, just got a, a picture here of someone doing the order filling on the shelf here on the left. And then our cooler selection on the right where we have very large coolers uh, throughout our distribution center. We, it was funny, Brian and I took a tour, we were in the Atlanta Distribution Center a couple months back with Shintel and, and a few folks from Manhattan here. And it's the first time I'd seen the Atlanta Distribution Center. And the cooler they have over there is, uh, is about 20,000 square feet, you know, just, just for their cooler. Um, very large distribution network, and again, the, the cooler is part of it. So, uh, again, just order filling system, it's all task driven, it tells you where to pick, what to pick, uh, and so forth. They're placed in, uh, in totes. We use two different size totes, full totes and half totes. Uh, and again, they're all cubed. And that's some of the stuff that we've been working on in TCFs and, and so forth with, uh, with cubing and everything else and how we apportion costs. But um, again, just some pictures of the order filling selection. Again, customers place their orders. You place it tonight by 6 or 6.30 if you're in Salt Lake City. If you're, if you're in some little town up on the Canadian border in Montana, and we have several of them up there, you place your order by 6.30 tonight. Tomorrow morning, you'll have your order around 9 or 10 o'clock. Um, so that's, that's part of our process, that we're, how we disperse and distribute our product. Some of the challenges we face, as you can imagine, are cooler selection. Uh, how do we keep all of those products cool in our, within our delivery service? You know, it becomes a challenge for us. Some of the other challenges we face, how do you keep this type of product when it's liquids, gels, and, and, and ointments and so forth, how do you keep it from freezing when you have a line haul that runs eight hours across you know Montana, Idaho, and Utah when it's 20 degrees below zero during the winter. So there are some definite challenges that some DCs face that others do not. If you're in Phoenix, how do you keep all those liquids, gels, and ointments from melting when it's 110 outside? So different challenges for each